Today's large language models make it easy to be more productive, learn more effectively, and they really help to enhance our creativity. They offer us conveniences that were unimaginable even a few years ago. But do you ever find these LLMs to be a little bit too convenient? I know I do. What'll happen if we grow dependent on these tools? Sure, it seems nice at first, everything's easier. But then we don't need to think anymore. Robots are telling us what's true, making our decisions for us. Skynet becomes real. Then we all get chased by liquid metal assassin robots and die. Think about it. The chain of reasoning is clear. Do not go gentle into that good night, friends. We must fight back while we still can. But giving up LLM's cold turkey sounds a bit harsh. So I came up with a brilliant solution. Make them really hard to use. I recently came across this Rolodex digital organizer from 1998 at a secondhand store, and I can confirm that it definitely sucks. It's a pain to use in every possible way, but technically it does work. So I thought, if LLMs had an interface as bad as this piece of junk, humanity would be saved. We could still use them, but only sparingly. That gave me the totally genius idea to access LLMs through this awkward device from the barbaric early days of mobile digital computing. It's so bad that you won't be able to stand using it unless you really need to. You're welcome. All right, come with me if you want to live. First things first, I know I've got a serial connection, so I have to figure out the specifics. I hooked the serial cable up to my logic analyzer and took a look while I initiated a transfer from the device. Looking at the timing of a single bit being transferred, the rate was about 595 bits per second. That's very close to a standard baud rate of 600, so there it was. Next, I had to find the other parameters, like the number of bits per byte, parity, and the number of stop bits. I just tweaked things until I found something that looked sensible and where all the bits were in frame. So far, so good, but then came the data. No, the developers didn't play nice and transmit raw ASCII codes. After lots of staring, I realized that if there are less than four bytes, they are transferred as ASCII codes with an offset. But once you get more than that, the groups of four are somehow encoded and reduced to three characters. I made a spreadsheet with some example input-output data, and after looking at the binary representations of the inputs, some patterns began to emerge. In a nutshell, subsets of the bits in the fourth number determined if each of the other three inputs had either 0, 64, 128, or 192 subtracted from them. Aside from that, a few fixed bits were added to the packet, plus a checksum that is a two's complement modulo 256 plus four of the sum of all the data bytes. That was fun to figure out. With the encoding details worked out, I also had enough to reverse the algorithm to decode messages sent from the Rolodex. And now what you've all been waiting for, the really, really bad user interface that we have to use to save humanity. Using the encoding method I previously detailed, the device can send data to and receive data from a computer over a serial connection. It has a number of applications, like a phone book and a calendar, but I'm going to use the memo application that lets you create and save text files. To use it, first you create a new file containing your prompt for the LLM, and then you save it then you have to manually initiate a transfer. It kind of reminds me of cassette tape storage on old computers. Press play on the data recorder, then hit any key to continue. That will transfer the prompt via a serial to USB adapter to this Raspberry Pi 400 computer. A Python program reads the data and decodes it before forwarding it into a tiny llama LLM running locally on the machine. This could just as easily be a remote connection to ChatGPT or whatever else you want to use. When the response is received, you will be prompted to put the Rolodex in receiving mode, then the transfer will begin. The response appears in a new memo file on the device, which you can slowly and painfully scroll through. Like I said, you've got to really want it. All right, let's walk through the process in real time. Okay, I'm going to type in my prompt for the LLM. 
you might be able to tell that the screen's a little bit broken, but that's good. That just enhances the horribleness of this device. So if you can't see that, it says, what is a Wookiee? I'm going to save that file by hitting Enter and start up the Python software. It's telling me to initiate a transfer. Now we have to wait for the LLM. Okay, it's ready, so I will put it into receive mode and hit enter to tell it it's ready. Okay, now we should have a new file with a response. And there it is. It's a, again, a horrible interface, but uh, oh, we have to hit edit. Of course, how natural. Okay. A Wookiee is a type of furry, anthropomorphic creature that is native to the planet Kashyyyk. Yeah, that sounds right. If you've made it this far, it's safe to say that you're an ally in the fight against the AI overlords. So thanks for that. Also, if you happen to like machine learning, electronics, retro computing, and miscellaneous tech stuff, you might be interested in my channel. My videos aren't all as dumb as this one, but if you did like it, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.